Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So I just upgraded to the new MacBook Pro. I'm pretty excited about that. I did have the original MacBook Pro Retina, came out towards the end of 2012, and I hadn't seen a, a real upgrade reason until now. I knew there were some exciting processors in the line, and I wanted to see how those went. So what I've done is I've lined up both laptops side by side using ScreenFlow, and we're going to rip a video. So I'm going to jump right into that so we can see things take off. Okay, we've got the MacBooks lined up side by side. The older one is on the left, the new one is on the right, got a nice space gray. And they are both queued up using SpringFlow and I clicked them pretty much at the same time. And I, I think this is gonna be a good test because not only does uh, encoding a video hammer the CPU, it, it maxes out the CPU on both of these while it's running. It does do a good job of also utilizing the I.O because you're, you're doing a lot of stuff I.O.-wise on it to, to actually not only read the, the files, but also write out the files. So I was kind of curious to see how this goes. I do a lot of video encoding for my classes, and we, we can see that the MacBook Pro, the new 2016 MacBook Pro, is uh, well ahead of it. I did get that equipped with 16 gigs, so they're both 16 gig machines. And we can see that the new MacBook Pro is finished in about 2 minutes, 28 seconds. And now my older MacBook Pro still cranking along. That machine was definitely no slouch. It, when I came out in, at the end of 2012, that was one of the fastest machines I'd ever been on. And for a developer and having a lot of demanding development needs, definitely did a great job for me. And this video is about, if, if I remember right, it's about a two minute video. And the old one is just about done. That is done now, so a good 30, 35 seconds longer than the new one. Okay, there you have a little speed test of the 2012 MacBook Pro versus the new 2016 MacBook Pro. You can see some nice CPU upgrades, memory is definitely faster, the video is definitely faster, the, the hard drive or hard drive, the SSD is definitely faster. So uh, everything on the new machine is faster. And when we're encoding a video in ScreenFlow, it definitely does make a difference. The new machine finishing roughly a minute faster. Obviously with longer videos, you're going to see a, a larger time gap. And of course, with anything else in performance testing, your mileage may vary.